Hey everyone and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. On this video we're doing the chapter On The Run. This chapter has 8 potential endings and we're going to be getting ending number 6. Watch over Alice, revive fire. Find some wood. Before we do that, let's take a look around. RA9, still no idea what it means. Dead bird. Hmm, we could steal the money or put it back. Ralph is rather unstable and he did let us stay here, so let's put it back. Detroit Today, Cyber Wildlife. First Android Zoo opens. U.S. life expectancy now 91. 0.4% of world population holds 94% of global wealth. Cyber Wildlife. First Android Zoo opens. Cyberlife is set to open the first Android Zoo in Los Angeles, which will exhibit all exotic species to have become extinct in the last 30 years. Loot turtles, polar bears, mountain gorillas, African elephants, and several species of tiger will be among the... Uh, among the most high-profile attractions. CyberLife CSR spokeswoman Danielle Carnegie said the zoo caters to people of all ages and has a special mission to educate and inspire the younger generation about the importance of protecting our fragile environment. Though some environmentalists have claimed the zoo will diminish popular concern for the extinction of real animals, it's difficult not to be enthusiastic about technology being used to recreate vanished species. The animals themselves have yet to be unveiled, but CyberLife promises they will be more real than the real thing. No doubt an ideal weekend trip for the family. Canada. Canada still android-free zone. Canada, where the air is clean and the welcome is always warm. Discover the landscape, discover the wild, discover Canada. Canada, Canada still Android Free Zone. Despite the United States voting in its Android Act as early as 2028, the Canadian Parliament has yet again pushed back its decision on whether to permit Androids in the country. As a result, Androids are still not sold in Canada and have no official status in the country. With androids continuing to fuel unprecedented growth in the U.S. economy, yet contributing to record levels of unemployment, the arguments for and against putting them on sale in Canada rages on. But for the time being, Canada remains an android-free zone. Interesting.
Wait till Alice awakes. Change appearance, find new clothes. Cut hair. Well, let's not forget the gun. That could certainly come in handy. Accessing AX400 options. Select new hair color. We could keep it the same. Go blonde, white, or black. Let's go with black. There we go. Okay, return to Alice. Before we do that, let's look around the bathroom. Oh, crap. Alright, shouldn't have stayed here. That's all for now. Pretty go. We've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well let me know if they turn anything up. What are you gonna do with that? I have no idea. It took the first bus that came along and stayed at the end of the line. Its decision wasn't planned. It was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear. Deviants do. They get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions. All right, well, that still doesn't tell us where it went. It didn't have a plan, and it had nowhere to go. Maybe it didn't go far. Maybe. Ralph found this to feed the little girl. <laughs> it's a 
gift for her. A present. To make up for past misunderstandings. <laughs> Ralph will cook. We will do just like humans do. Humans like burnt meat. <laughs> come. Come and sit down. <laughs> Refuse. That's very kind of you, Ralph. But we have to go. Go? <laughs> no, you will go once the little girl is eaten. We will eat together, just like a family. The father, the mother, and the little girl. <laughs> Refuse. No, Ralph. We're leaving now. Come on, Alice. The little girl's going nowhere. Check the gun. Worried. You're not going to hurt her, are you? We're friends. Remember? No, Ralph doesn't want to hurt the little girl. He just wants her to eat. That's all. Explain. Humans don't eat that, Ralph. <laughs> Humans eat dead animals. I know that. Okay, agree. Okay. We'll eat together. Like a family. <laughs> That's better. Ralph went to a lot of trouble to find something for the little girl to eat. It wouldn't be polite for her to refuse. Would it? <laughs> Crazy. It's going to be great. <laughs> succulent, you'll see. Succulent. Succulent. <laughs> Father, mother, little girl. Please, Cara. I don't want to eat that. What did she say? Um, uh, nothing. Lie. She said she can't wait to eat it. She's very hungry. The little human is not going to regret it. <laughs> Ralph found the best, the biggest one he could find. <laughs> this is going to be succulent. Succulent. <laughs> Go ahead. Eat. Ask about corpse. I saw the body upstairs. You killed that human, didn't you? No. No, he was like that when Ralph found him. Insist about corpse. You killed that man, Ralph. There's no point in lying. You hate humans, but you're just like them. You're a murderer. Ralph didn't mean any harm. Ralph can control his anger. When his anger comes, Ralph doesn't know what he's doing. He, he becomes stupid. Full of hatred. Ralph is sorry. He just wanted to be your friend. Then let us go. Anybody home? There's blue blood on the fence. I know another android was here. Investigate the deviant trail. Android inside the house.
Scan Android. Deviants. Are there any other androids here? Other androids? No. Ralph is alone. Reassure. Don't be afraid. I'm not gonna hurt you. Blue blood. There's blue blood on the fence. I know another android was here. Ralph scratched himself coming through. That's Ralph's blood. AX400. I'm looking for an AX400. Have you seen it? Ralph's seen nobody. Model WR-600, Gardener. Reported missing. Burn mark. Irreversible skin damage. Probable cause, extreme heat. Processing LED. Signs of software instability. Probability of self-destruction, moderate. Find source of android stress, and he has a stress meter. Perfect tool to cut a wire fence. Table set for three people. Food? Androids don't eat. Androids don't need heat. Is anyone upstairs? No. Nobody. Android is telling the truth. Give up.
Are you okay? All right, chapter complete. So let's go through this flowchart. And we got the trophy, run, Kara, run. So we have three potential starting spots based on what you, uh, where you decided to stay in the previous chapter and then many options from there. Eventually, uh, potentially uh, joining together where Connor pursues Kara. But we started over here in the squat. Alright, so uh, we read the magazine. We revived the fire. We read the leaflet. We checked on Alice. We looked at Ralph's stuff, we, but we decided not to steal from him. We went upstairs. We cut hair and changed clothes. We went with the black uh, hair color. And we decided to take the gun back. Apparently, you could decide to leave it. Not sure why you would do that. Remove the LED. We found the corpse in the bathtub, and we went downstairs. Uh, Ralph wants a family meal. We refused to sit. He threatened Alice. We set, or, uh, sat at the table. We discussed the corpse. Ralph apologized. We were disturbed by Connor. Connor investigated. And then we took over Connor, we entered the squat, we interrogated the squat android. Uh, we had the uh, android, Ralph, keep quiet. Um, apparently there's a way to make him not so quiet. Uh, we checked out all of this various stuff. Um, some additional things that could have happened that did not based on our actions. Um, but we did find where uh, Alice and Kara were hiding and uh, Ralph grabbed Connor, which allowed Kara and Alice to escape, which set the pursue. We uh, ran towards them. We reached the fence in time. They ended up going across the highway. Uh, we listened to Hank's order and did not follow. So that's what there. Uh, Kara and Alice safely got to the other side, and that's the ending that we got. So, three potential endings from that uh, highway scene, and then five previous sections had uh, endings as well. So, where did we end up? We got 38% of this uh, flowchart completed. Public opinion is still skeptical. Alice is family. Oh, and I did it again. Let's check the world stats really quick. I'll just go through this. I'll just scan through this. Apparently only 9% uh, of the people like white hair. Black was 18%. That was the most popular decision. Only 17% refused to sit. Sixty-eight percent ended up being chased by Connor. Uh, only thirty-three percent obeyed Hank's order, and fifty-eight percent got this ending. Okay, let's jump out to the main menu for extras. Accessing the extras section. Okay, new artwork available. That would be pack four. Such a creepy scene. That's amazing concept. I love that.
All right, and over to the gallery. We can do uh, four unlocks here. First up. It's Captain Allen from the first mission. Five foot nine, 165 pounds. He was born in 94. Captain Allen is a senior member of the Detroit Police Department's Special Weapons and Tactics Unit. The squad he leads has been called to neutralize an android who took a little girl hostage. Next up is Jimmy Peterson, 6 foot 176 pounds, born in 2001. Jimmy is the owner of Jimmy's Bar in Detroit, a popular spot for local residents and Lieutenant Hank Anderson's second home. Frequented by a number of unsavory characters, a recent case of red ice trafficking led to the closure of the bar a few years ago. As Jimmy puts it, I just serve the beers. The rest is none of my business. Jimmy hates androids and he is very proud that his bar is android free. Except for when Connor went in there. Ben Collins, 5'4", 242 pounds, born in 89. Ben Collins is a veteran police officer who joined the force a few years after Lieutenant Anderson, whom he values and respects highly. Ben is a model officer, serious, helpful, experienced, and appreciated by all his colleagues. Without great ambition, he is quietly waiting for his retirement with professionalism and good humor. And our last unlock, another cop. That would be Chris Miller, 5'6", 176 pounds, born in 2009. Chris Miller is a young police officer from Detroit, fresh from the academy. He is rigorous, dedicated, and has a great professional and personal respect for Lieutenant Hank Anderson. Chris has become a father to a... Or Chris has just become a father to a little boy named Damien. Alright, and that's going to run us out of points. Just entering magazines to get rid of that new. And we are all done here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.